Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Max. This is Max Mods, and today is Spitfire Thursdays, everybody. So we have issue 66 of Build the Spitfire, and there's not a lot to do in this issue today. Uh, all we've got to do is put a label on the cable, test the motor, and then put it on the bracket that we uh, uh, put the other motor last week. So this should be a nice, quick uh, video for you guys today. So uh, with all that said, let's get modelling. Right, let's get started. So, the first part we need is we've got this motor that we've been given in this issue. And what we need to do, I'm just going to move that uh, wire tie there up. But yet again, we've got another label on a cable. So, let's get it off and let's get it fitted. Now, the good thing about this issue is we can actually test this motor where on previous motors we've not been able to okay and that's on there and that's saying m5 just notice it's not very uh sticky is that mo that uh, label i think it's going to be have a tendency to uh, come off but what I'll do in um, after we've done the build I'll uh, probably get some sticky tape around that one okay so what we need to do next is we need to test the motor so we've got the battery box here we've got the uh, test board and then we're just gonna slot in this motor just to give it a test switch it on and as you can see, that moves around okay. Right, so that's a little bit uh, stuck in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my needle nose pliers because I don't want to rip out any of the wiring. give it a better grip and just sort of pull it out come on that really does not want to come out right that's out now that's one of the most tightest connections I've ever seen okay so i'm just putting that away and the next thing we need to do is we actually need to install it on this bracket here now this is going to be going into this section here but what we need to do is we need to thread the wire down so i'm still going to keep it on the cable tidy and it's going to more or less come down just like that okay and then what we need to do is we need to screw it in place with two uh two times four millimeter screws which have been supplied in this issue so just sort one of them out just moving the wire out of the way. Now it doesn't matter which way this goes round. Right, so that's in place. So I'll put the first screw in, but I'm not going to tighten it up fully until I've got this second screw in. That really does not want to stay in place. Right, that's the first one in just a little bit I'm gonna get the second one in I just want to be basically be able to keep that motor in place and lock it in so I'll screw that one up nice and tight and then that one's screwed up 
nice and tight as well and that is it for this issue there is absolutely nothing else to do um and yeah that's looking uh, nicely in place i'm going to be interested to find out what these actual motors are going to be doing on the aircraft because uh not a lot of people have any idea so uh, we're at harshet's uh, beck and, and call there uh, with that one but that is issue 66 done Well, that's it for Spitfire Thursdays, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Nice little issue there to finish off with the Spitfire. Now, issue 66 is my last issue that I've actually received. So I'm now waiting on issue 67, 68, 69 and 70, which I'm hoping will be here by next week. If not, then uh, I don't think I'm going to have a Spitfire Thursday next week if it doesn't come on time. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next issue brings us because uh, it's always interesting to see what's going to happen next. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you're notified of any future videos. But as for always, guys, stay safe and bye for now. Mm -hmm.